Hello, uh, everybody, and this is the first of hopefully many videos, uh, later on hopefully many flashy videos, and this is, um, it's a little week in review, uh, just to talk about the weekly occurrences that happen to a guest English teacher teaching in Korea who's never been in Korea before, and all the wacky hijinks and weird shit that just happens to him. Um, this week has been my first week teaching at Sejan High School, uh, located in Gimchan, in the Yeonbuk region, and, um, my first week probably teaching ever. I've done little teaching jobs before, but this has been my first teaching job where I'm actually a full-on teacher. They call, they, you know, you can call me a, a teacher, and while I think that's awesome, um, I'm sure it'll cause some people who know me to uh, question the system on education and where's our future going. But without getting into those details, um, yeah, the first week. Uh, the first week went fairly well. Um, it's always difficult being a new person in a school or in a new workplace that you're not familiar with. So the first week was just uh, basically getting to getting to know the staff there and the teachers and um, getting to, I suppose, become friendly with some of them because in Korea, um, the relationships that you build with your co-workers and your friends are very important and if you do not have strong connections with your co-teachers or your co-workers or your friends, um, you're not going to get as much help and you're not going to go very far in Korea. It's the uh, old-fashioned buddy system, and that definitely has been at work here. And so, um, luckily, uh, the teacher who sits across from me, Mr. Kim, happens to also be the English teacher at the school, and he also happens to be very fluent in English. Actually, all the, for the most part, teachers at the school are somewhat fluent in English, so communicating and getting to know them has been pretty easy. And uh, I'm really happy about that because they're all very, very nice people, every single one of them. Um, the first week going through classes was basically just an introduction, uh, introducing myself and um, just uh, what my goals are, what my aims were for teaching. I didn't really have a solid lesson plan, and I couldn't rely on a site like Weigook or you know ideas just to crib from there and throw up a PowerPoint presentation because my classrooms do not have access to a computer or PowerPoint. They don't even have access to a dry erase board. It was just um, a chalkboard. I mean, yeah, an old-fashioned chalkboard. Writing the name up in chalk at all. So an average of five classes a day um, for five days in a row. I've been going around introducing myself, saying where I'm from, what I used to do, and doing a simple activity just to test the level of English. Um, that's usually a pretty good idea to uh, just start out. Nothing too complicated, almost make it like a game for the students, and it allows you to kind of gauge where the class is at. You can gauge and say, well, the reading is good, but the listening is not very good, or the writing is good, but they can't really read, and you'll be able to uh, tailor the lessons for each class there. Um, but beyond that, uh, it's been an unusual week, and I believe like one of the reasons because of that was there was a, believe it or not, there was a fight Wednesday in the middle of the week, and it wasn't between two students, it was between two teachers, two teachers in the teacher's lounge. Obviously, I could not understand what they were saying, but I could tell that they were angry. They were just, one was on one end of the desk, and the other was on the other end, and they were right in each other's face. Their, their fists were clenched. They were yelling at each other. And other teachers were running up and just trying to hold them back, you know, just keep them back. I still uh, do not know what the argument was about. And the uh, it was actually broken up by the principal. The principal had to come in. And he had to come in with a pot of coffee. And he started pouring everybody coffee and started calming everybody down and, and smiling and patting everybody on the shoulder. And, you know, it's okay, it's okay. And the one teacher finally sat down. They managed to talk him down. The other just seemed to get so furious that he just stormed out of the classroom. And he got in his car. 
and he just tore out of the parking lot. Thank God that nobody was in front of that car because he wasn't stopping for anything. He was beyond angry. And he still had two classes left too, so I don't know what happened with that or how that was dealt with, but I did not see him till the next day. He was pissed. And I've never seen a teacher fight. I've never seen a teacher fight back in the States. And I never expected to see a teacher fight in Korea. And within my first week, nonetheless. So I guess there's a, there's a first time for everything, I suppose. And um, the day after that, I was having a conversation with my English teacher, Mr. Kim again. And he was talking to the Japanese teacher at the school. And all of a sudden, the Japanese teacher just his eyes just light up and he starts smiling and he, he just starts talking in Korean excitedly, me not understanding what's happening. And all of a sudden Mr. Kim translates and he says, Kyle, you should play tennis with them after school because you said that you are good at tennis. And I, I put up my hands and I said, I think there's been a mistake. I said, I enjoy tennis. I'm okay at tennis, but I, I'm not good at tennis. Mr. Kim talks to the teacher again. And instead of a look of disappointment from somebody who was not what he expected, instead his eyes get bigger, and he starts smiling even more. And he, and he, starts, he starts pointing at me, and he starts, his co-workers, he gets his co-workers' attention, he starts pointing at them. And he's like, oh, Roger Federer, Roger Federer. And I'm like, no, no, I, no, no Roger Federer. I'm, I'm not Roger Federer. I like Roger Federer, but no, no. And before I knew it, I was told that I have to play with them after school, have to play tennis against three people who have been playing tennis since they were children and expecting me to be this excellent, excellent tennis player uh, who has maybe played maybe a total of 10 times in his life. None of them I was ever very good. And so one of the teachers who could not really speak English beyond hello, goodbye, drove me to my apartment, we left school early, this is how important it was, we left school early, drove me to my apartment, and told me to change into athletic clothes. I did not bring any athletic clothes to Korea, uh, let alone a racket. So, I did the best I could, I threw on an old t-shirt, and all I had on pajama pants. I didn't even have athletic pants. This is what I wore, in my Xbox pajamas, but that's what all I had. And thank God nobody said anything, because... It just, just think about playing tennis in your pajamas, and, you know, there you go. That's how it was. It was weird. And, anyway, we finally get out to the court. He hands me one of these. Says it's an energy drink. Good for vitality. Good to make you good at tennis. Well, I mean, you should have given me more than one, because I needed all the help I can get. And so, I drink the drink, hoping by some miracle to help me. He gives me a spare racket. I walk out on the court, everybody's excited, everybody's ready, he throws the ball up in the air, serves it to me, not knowing what to do, not really having any experience, I hit the ball as hard as I can, hoping that it'll go back at him, and instead it ends up sailing out of the court, and ended up way in the bushes, nobody can get it, it was way, way beyond there. And I start apologizing profusely, saying there must be something wrong, and making up every excuse that I possibly could. And once that happened, um, they get another ball. This goes on for maybe another half hour, and I am struggling. I am struggling to keep up. I finally asked to move in the back, where hopefully the ball won't come as much. And even then, I'm still struggling. And I feel so bad for my teammate, because we're losing big time. And the other team, and my teammate, are probably wondering, what the hell is this guy's problem? When's he going to start being good? You know, they only knew. They only knew. And so finally, finally, after about another 10 minutes, the, the teacher who originally picked me up just walks out, talks to everybody in Korean, comes up to me, pats me on the shoulder and smiles, and tells me in English, tennis is hard. I can understand. It is a hard sport. I took that as in the gig is up. You are not as good as we thought, thanks to spoiling our dreams. But luckily, uh, and like many people in Korea, he is very good-hearted about it. And after the game soon ended, and afterwards we all went out for beer and bulgogi, and I was able to talk with him a little bit more. It was really cool. We had some uh, more bulgogi, more beer, got a little drunk. Uh, they tried to hook me up 
with the other female co-English teacher, but that's another story for another day. And it was a good time overall. It was the perfect example of everything went better than expected. And so, because of that, uh, that's my first week. First week teaching in Korea. And I'm not sure other guest English teachers have had as an exciting of an adventure as I have. But if this is an example of what is to await me and many other people in Korea, I looks like I'm in for one hell of a trip. Uh, this video went a little longer than I expected, so uh, thanks for watching it if you watched it all the way through. I mean, it's 10 minutes, so if you stopped about at the 3 minute mark, I wouldn't blame you. I mean, I wouldn't watch this far, but I'm glad you, you did. You guys are special for all the few people out there who watched. And uh, thank you, and that's it. Hopefully next week will be more exciting, but I have no idea how you can top this week.